Hey, it's me, um, the the fat hiker, and I am going on a um, walk today that will take me. Um, I won't be crossing the river today, but it, I'm going to meet friends for lunch at a Vietnamese restaurant uh, for soup, and it's going to be 3.3 kilometers going east, and that on on Google Maps it says. It should take me 41 minutes to walk. Well, <laughs> 41 minutes maybe for the uh, typical skinny mini. But hey, I was, uh, I was, you know what, baby? I was built for comfort. I wasn't built for speed. But I want, I said I'd review my uh, socks that I got. Um, these are the darn tough socks that come out of um, Vermont. I was very happy. I don't really know how to review socks, <laughs> but you know, I wore these last week on a couple of walks and uh, I wore them at work. I like to wear uh, hiking socks at work just because I'm carrying uh, around some weight and it's kind of easy on the feet when you're wearing uh, hiking socks for uh, for big guys like myself. So um, the company is darn tough and I was really happy with them and uh, they were very comfortable. I bought uh it's called a lore pen and it's called um a light hiker and i think it's a i think the company's from spain it says uh, it was designed in spain and uh made in mexico uh designed in spain made in mexico and um yeah i'm going to be wearing these today uh <laughs> I don't know how technical. I I I I should research socks more. Maybe I'll maybe I'll run back to that store one day and ask some questions about socks. And maybe they could go on my blog and who who knows. But yeah, I am um, doing a three point three kilometer walk going east and coming back. Um, I know I call myself a hiker, and being in Ottawa, there's lots of forestry around lots of forests in the Ottawa area but I live in Saskatoon I live in the Canadian prairies and in the Canadian prairies you don't get uh forests what you do is outside the city you get farmland and it's all flat so it's it's not hiking uh what some of you might think um but I I like to call it when I go for my walks in the city I like to call it urban hiking well on my right is a big chunk of land owned by University of Saskatchewan and it's their uh, test field house through the Department of Horticulture and uh, if you would go in there you'd find lots of field maybe maybe some planting going on uh, maybe some planting happening right now it's the end of April but uh, kind of reminds me of uh, Ottawa's experimental farm. A couple things in uh, Saskatoon remind me of Ottawa. You walk down by the river here in Saskatoon, you know, visit some of the bridges, they call it the city of bridges, and that reminds me of Ottawa when I'm walking around the, uh, the river. All this will look very different in a couple weeks time when the trees start growing leaves. One of the parks here in Saskatoon, hello! And the parks also serve as a playground for uh, the schools that they border. And they make their own hills, hills for uh, sledding in the winter. So kids in Saskatoon, which is a very flat area, has man-made hills or slopes 
that kids could uh, go tobogganing on. So, yes, crazy carpets can be found here in the prairies. Well, here they are. They're they're trying a drone here, and uh, that is definitely one toy that I wouldn't mind having. A school or a park without an outdoor skating rink would be very strange. Well, as you can see, the ice is gone. Winter is a memory. And the boards will be disassembled, put in storage until November when they're assembled again. And the uh, ground will be flooded with a hose. Winter will freeze it and skating once again. Well, I guess you can also use this for lacrosse right now. Has the boards all set up and whatnot. Has I know I saw one school where they were using the uh, the boards for lacrosse. Old hockey net. How many <laughs> how many goals have been scored on this net? I'm not sure, but <laughs> back in the day, you play street hockey or whatever, and now you pretend you're favorite hockey player. My favorite hockey player growing up was Larry Robinson, the Big Bird. And, and Guy Lafleur. Great skater Guy Lafleur. So was Robinson. Robinson was very good. I used to work for the uh, Salvation Army back in Ottawa as a member of the street outreach team where I was, my job was to go around in a van and distribute coffee, soup, blankets to those in need, transport folks in need for shelter or hospital or whatnot, and we get lots of cops calling us and hospitals calling us to help transporters, to help people get transported back. Oh, what do I see here, an old mercury? Aha, classic. Custom cab. Classic dashboard. Wow, what a nice little find. And still in use I'm not very good with uh, years on cars and not very knowledgeable but I like uh, checking out old and the rain has started to fall I'm caught on my walk and I'm going to uh, Find some shelter. I don't want to get too wet and uh, let them know that uh, call ahead and let them know I'm going to be late for lunch. Meeting up with a couple of friends at Vietnamese restaurant on 8th Street. <laughs> it's coming down. It doesn't rain that much here in Saskatoon, you know, it's a dry climate. But it's coming down. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this, but uh, <laughs> rain happens, part of nature, and I am going to duck into uh, one of these box stores that was just off Main Street for shelter. And oh, I think I'm near a Starbucks. Ooh. Might be time for a cuppa. Oh yes. So I ducked into the uh, Starbucks when it was raining, ordered my 
dark roast and as soon as they had the coffee in hand, the rain stopped. Well, <laughs> Murphy's Law. I have arrived at my destination. My favorite Vietnamese soup place in Saskatoon. Being from Ottawa, we're spoiled with uh, our pho soups. But this one, pretty good. Well, the meal was good, and so was the company. Hello, guys. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna walk home 3.3 kilometers. There is a Dairy Queen along the way. I don't know if I'll eat, I might not eat there, but I will uh, show it because it's an old one. What year do you think the Dairy Queen is? Uh, it's probably from the 60s, 60s or 70s. Yeah. Well, it has that old uh, look about it. I think it's cool, and I think uh, people might uh, like to see it. You're talking about the one on the street, right? Sorry? The one right on the street. The one on 8th Street, yes. That you just walk up to the window. You and... walk right up to the window. Yeah. You don't go through the window. You walk up, and the little window opens, so you can't go through it. Yeah, it's not like those other That would be sharp. That you walk Sorry? through the window. Sorry? Yeah. What? It's not like those other Dairy Queens where you walk through the window. You walk through the window? <laughs> Shartered glass? <laughs> Trying to tease you. Well, yes. We have to, get, we, we have, to be technical. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Tian today, strange service. Yes. Yes. Um, there he goes. Um, main course uh, came before the appetizer. Um, my friend had to ask for rice three times. Um, yeah, it, but still the best Vietnamese restaurant in Saskatoon. Would you agree? I think the Vietnamese would disagree with you there. <laughs> well, yes, but she's never been to the Vietnamese restaurants in Ottawa. Uh, have you? Too. You have to make it to Ottawa one day. We're very proud of our Vietnamese uh, uh, restaurants. Well, here's an old school Dairy Queen that you don't see too much of anymore. There used to be one in, in Ottawa where my family used to go up to church on uh, Richmond Road and Woodruff. Back in the day, we'd go there after, after church. Good to see that, uh, you know, some of the remnants of the past are kept. An old Dairy Queen from back in the day. I'm not too sure which year it is, uh, year this one is, but pretty cool. I was just asked <laughs> on the street a moment ago if I was a steaming bean, but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, a fellow who follows me, great guy, Don McPherson, is also on my. Uh, Prairie Vinyl Collector Community website uh, follows me on on my channels on YouTube. Here's a cool thing that you don't see on every <laughs> on top of every building. Pretty cool. Ah, ha 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 ha! I'm gonna pop in here for a second. I want to start collecting old Sergeant Rock and Superman when I was a kid. See if they have any. And I am back in the neighborhood where I started today's walk. Yeah, if I could do this for tomorrow is May 1st and June, July and August. Hey, September 1st, I wanna see some good changes in the old waistline. Thanks for watching. Hey, subscribe, give me a thumbs up and a positive comment.